Hello, this is Pat with Warner's Tree Surgery, and today I'm talking about ash trees. Ash trees are suffering this year in record numbers. Here's some pictures of ash trees just blocks from our home in Mesa. All of the ash trees in these pictures are infected with boring insects, and this video will aid you in determining if your ash trees are infected. Common symptoms associated with attack by boring insects are branch dieback, thinning canopies, and epicormic branching. The canopy of the tree may have only the lower branches still full of foliage and the top with only a scattering of leaves. In addition, the lower branches and trunk may have singular or clusters of upright shoots. These are called epicormic shoots and occur along the branches or trunks of stressed trees. A symptom common with ash trees infested by carpenter worms and other ash borers is bark shred off by woodpeckers searching for the larvae. Fresh missing bark, particularly over an extensive area of the trunk, is one of the best indicators that the tree may be infested by the borer. If these indicators are present, look for signs of activity of a boring insect in the trunk or dying branches. Sometimes only the upper branches will show insect activity, and if possible, these should be the first examined. Signs to look for are the size and shape of exit holes on the bark and the pattern of any insect tunnels beneath the bark. The emerald ash borer that is not supposed to be in Arizona yet creates a crisp D-shaped hole 1 8 inch in diameter as it exits the tree. Larvae form tunnels just beneath the bark. These tunnels form a serpentine pattern and are filled with a sawdust-like material. There is no powdery sawdust on the trunk, either adjacent to the holes or on the ground beneath them. A common ash borer is the clear wing ash borer. This insect makes an exit hole about the size of a pencil, one quarter inch thick and usually the ground beneath the holes is covered with a powdery sawdust. The tunnels are often found deep within the wood rather than just beneath the bark and are usually clean of material. The carpenter worm is another common boring insect of ash trees. This insect creates an exit hole of about one-third inch thick in diameter, slightly larger than a pencil. There will often be sawdust around the hole and on the ground beneath the tree. Sap may also be oozing from holes, and sometimes the empty pupa case left by the emerging adult insect can be found attached to the bark surrounding the exit holes. The tunnels may be 5 8 inch wide, often empty of sawdust, and extend deep into the tree. Trees infested by carpenter worms often have their branches weakened by extensive tunneling, and affected branches often break off in high winds. Woodpecker activity is also common on trees infested by carpenter worms. Other common borers of dead or dying ash trees are the red-headed ash borer and the banded ash borer. These insects create an oval exit hole, almost fuzzy D-shaped in appearance and are about one inch thick in diameter. The tunnels beneath the bark are winding, often follow the grain of the wood, and are packed with sawdust-like material. The tunnels are similar to those created by the emerald ash borer. The primary difference is that the red-headed and banded ash borer tunnels may extend deeper into the wood than those created by the emerald ash borer. If you cut into the wood beneath the bark and the tunnels are still present, the most likely cause is the red-headed or banded ash borer, not the emerald ash borer. Another group of insects that can be found boring into dying ash are the ash bark beetles. The two common species are the eastern ash bark beetle and the western ash bark beetle. These insects create a round exit hole one sixteenth inch in diameter about the size of a BB 
and often these holes will encircle a chute. The tunnels beneath the bark consist of a main tunnel with numerous smaller tunnels running off from it and following the wood grain. Another insect that can damage ash trees is the giant leopard moth. This moth was first discovered in Maricopa County on the screen door of one of our customers. The leopard moth usually lays eggs on top of the branch collar of the ash trees and the worm girdles the branch collar staying in the tree for two years before emerging. Many times a healthy ash tree will heal behind the tunneling worm. The giant leopard moth or the tiger moth has a wingspan of three inches. Adult moths are strictly nocturnal and do not generally fly before nightfall. The caterpillar of the giant leopard moth is of the woolly bear kind with a thick coat of black bristles and red or orange colored bands between its segments which becomes conspicuous when the caterpillar rolls into a ball for defense. If you would like your ash trees looked at by a professional please give us a call at 480-969-8808. You know I think I'll just hang out here for a while and listen to some music.